What's up everybody, my name is Micah, and welcome back to Creating Creations. So everybody knows what gravity is, but I don't know if you've ever wondered if there's any useful purpose you can use gravity for, other than for gliding in an airplane. Well, I've made a gravity powered boat before, and today I'm going to show you how to make a gravity powered car. Let's get this project started. To make this project, you'll need 19 popsicle sticks, 2 chopsticks, 2 straws, 6 bottle caps, 1.5 feet of fishing wire, and last but not least, you'll also need a small weight of your choice. Let's get this started. The first step to making this project is to make 6 individual sets of 2 popsicle sticks glued together in a row with a popsicle stick on either side of the connection. Next, we are going to make the base of the car. To do this, we are going to use two of the sets of popsicle sticks and lay them on a flat surface about four inches apart from each other. Then we're going to connect them using two popsicle sticks. After that, you're going to use the last four sets of popsicle sticks to make two 40 degree triangles by gluing them together. Next, cut a small rectangular hole in the center of two bottle caps. Then, slide a popsicle stick through the two bottle caps and glue the bottle caps together in the center of the popsicle stick. Then glue that popsicle stick onto the top of the two triangles that we made. Now glue a straw onto the front of the car. And then cut the other straw down to two one inch pieces and glue them onto the base in the back of the car. Now cut two chopsticks down to six inches long. Then, using a soldering iron or a knife, cut or burn a hole into the center of four bottle caps. Then glue a bottle cap onto one end of each of the top six. Then slide the other end through the straws on the front and the rear, and then glue the other two bottle caps onto them. The last but most crucial part of the project is to tie and glue one end of the fishing wire onto the back axle. And then wrap it over the triangle so that it goes lays on top of the two bottle caps. And then tie the other end of the fishing line to a weight.
Now, when you spin the back tires, it will wrap the string around the back axle and lift the weight up. When the weight is sitting at the top, you can let it go, and as the weight falls back down, it will unwind the wire and move the car forwards. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys on the next video.